So has a so-called do-it-yourself aligner treatment affected your practice very much? I personally, it has not affected our practice at all. I think people, for me in my area that I practice, people feel like, you know, there's a, there's a need for a specialist. There's a need for, you know, the interaction with the orthodontist. And I'll be honest with you, I like my patients. I like seeing them, you know, every six to eight weeks. I find that marketing on TV and everything else has just simply raised the awareness once again of orthodontic treatment. Patients come in, it's actually facilitated very friendly and open discussions about the advantages and disadvantages of different approaches. And if they want an invisible solution, we show them various aligner solutions that we have in the office. The actual side effect for me is that patients realize they can't do it themselves, have no desire to do it themselves, have actually been an adjunct marketing program, if you will, when they seek out treatment that's, that, that fits their needs. And I have never yet had a patient go, well, I think I'm just going to go try it on my own after we sit there and talk about it. Well, and you think about it, you're moving a two, three dimensionally. So you're going to have somebody, you know, at, at these companies that are going to be tipping, you know, the computer is going to be tipping the teeth. You can get alignment in so many different ways, as you know. Right. You can go in there, you can, you can, you know, do interproximal reduction. But a lot of times you may be lining the teeth up. But are the teeth properly torqued? Are they properly rotated? You know, are they properly intruded or extruded? Yeah, do they fit in the face? Do they fit in the face? <laughs> are, they, are they following the, yeah. the, the smile arc? Are right. they doing... When I submit a case, I am typing up precisely on how I want the teeth to move. Sure. So I'm the orthodontist. I'm treatment planning the case. If I want expansion, I'm telling the technician I want this much expansion. If I want torque, I'm telling him this. When they get the scripts, they're setting up the case that I'm prescribing right. for the patient. Exactly. And that's the biggest difference. If someone gave me a Stradivarius, you know, and maybe the world's greatest right. violin, it would still sound like a screeching chicken if I played it. Right.